At this time, may I have a motion for the appointment of the 10th President of Black Hill State University. Madam, please to recommend the appointment of Dr. Tom Jackson, Jr. as President of Black Hill State University. to become the 10th president of this university, so thank you very much. I want to tell you the reason that I came to BH. I spent a lot of time with two individuals while I was here last week, and if these two individuals are representative of the 4,500 other individuals like them, with character, a pure genuality to them, an intellect that I thought was just amazing, and their just heartfelt interest in this process, it clearly showed me that this was the place for myself and my family. And so I want to give an enormous amount of credit to both Chase and Lauren. If you could. <laughs> but to the faculty, I knew that we were getting into a very first rate group of individuals that wanted to be, that wanted others to know just how wonderful the work that they were doing uh, meant. So their collegiality, I really look forward to working with. So thank you. I actually see BH as this amazing international honors university that provides everyone this opportunity uh, to come here for all the right reasons. And as I talked about retention and the importance of an education that many of you uh, asked me about, I saw this really easy answer that once you get here, nobody gets to leave here. <laughs> that was my point. If we can get you to this university, our job as a community as a Yellow Jacket community is to make sure that you finish here, however we do that. I saw that also in our alumni and our foundation and our citizens in the community meeting when I met with that group. That is the other reason why my family is here today because we saw ourselves in this community doing things you want us to be doing inside this community. And so without any regard, it was never a hard sell, even though you continually try to sell it. It was never, ever a hard sell. <laughs> And you know that Spearfish is a fantastic place, and we can't wait to get our butts here. <laughs> I also want to acknowledge President Schellenkamp. Uh, she's got a lot of years in this business, and I know she will receive her accolades throughout time in the coming weeks and months. But she's leaving a place that is perfect for an incoming president. And as a future president coming in now, I think if you look at it through her eyes and a little bit of mine, you'll see that this place is much better than it was eight years ago. It certainly is a perfect place for new leadership to come on board, and her kindness and gracious are uh, above all else. Let me end with a story, because I have stories, <laughs> right? But this one's about my grandmother, and she would, and none of you have heard this one in part, she only had an eighth grade education, and she insisted that her children, her two sons and her one daughter, would earn a high school education. That was her goal in life. Even though she was a food service operator at an elementary school growing up, I mean, I'm growing up as an adult, she said, I only have an eighth grade education. My kids will have a high school education. And they got just that, a high school education. And somewhere in the next generation, she wanted the grandchildren to do a little more. And when I earned my degree, she essentially said, Tommy Jr., which is what I was so kindly referred to, and none of you can. <laughs> she would say, you're an educated person now. In her mind, being a college graduate meant I was an educated person. Even still to this day, the smartest people I know never did finish their college degree, yet alone start. But she said, you're an educated person now. Do something so much more with that education than just for yourself. Do it to help many others. Maybe these are the values of this university and this community. Maybe they're not, but they certainly seem to fit it. Work hard, uh, help your neighbor, be honest, and go to church. That's essentially what they said. And so we look forward to being here. And as your president, I will certainly lead with honor, integrity, and humility. So thank you for your vote of confidence, and I look forward to meeting all of you. Have a wonderful day. One of the things that really weighed heavy on us, very simply, was where BH is headed. And we were pretty clear that BH has an enormous amount of opportunity in front of it. 
very stable, balanced university, grounded in the environment and the community. So without any hesitation, we saw that the opportunities in front of them, particularly in sustainability and innovation, were crystal clear. And the faculty really wanted to be regarded as the strongest innovators, not only in the region, but also maybe in the nation. It's kind of hard to say no when you hear people so optimistic about what they can do and what they want to do.